Ice cream. Ice cream? Did someone say ice cream? No, sorry. Ice cream. Ah! Have you ever heard this little rhyme? Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream? It's a play on words common with children. You might ask what this has to do with today's topic of linking and connected speech. Well, it illustrates how each combination of these two words links together to form virtually the same sound. In this video, you'll learn how to link or connect words, which is important in order to make your English speech sound more smooth, fluent, and natural. Have you noticed that in English, you often can't tell where one word ends and the next begins? It sounds like three or four or more words are just one. Well, that's what I mean by linking or connected speech. Back to that in a moment. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the little bell icon to find out when I post new videos. If you're a faithful follower, I thank you for that. Please like the video if you like it, share it with others, and post comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Now let's get back to the lesson. How many words do you hear in the following sentences? What time is it? What time is it? Well, there are four words but there was no break between those words. It sounded like just one, right? They smoothly combine as if they were only one word. What time is it? How many words do you hear in this one? You're just in time for dinner. You're just in time for dinner. In this one, there are six, or even seven if you thought you are rather than the contraction your. Here's another. Did you eat my orange? Did you eat my orange? In this one, there are five words. And the last example, where's my cell phone? Where's my cell phone? This one has four or five if you counted the contraction where's as two words being where is. So let me explain a bit how this linking actually works using the previous sentences. There are specific sounds that normally connect together in natural English speech. There are two very common categories of sounds that connect. The first is consonant to consonant. The ending consonant sound of one word connects to the beginning consonant sound of the following word. In what time is it, notice how what time connects together. In this case, the ending T on what connects to the beginning T in the word time. What time? In this case, they happen to be the same consonant. When that happens, we pronounce the sound only once. So pronounce what time as one word, saying the T only once. What time? Now let's take a look at our last sentence. Where's my cell phone? See how where's my smoothly links together? The S at the end of where's, which is actually a Z sound, Z, where's, blends easily into the M at the beginning of my. Where's my? And the same happens with cell phone. The final L connects seamlessly into the F sound at the beginning of phone. Cell phone. Cell phone. Notice how it sounds just like the words self-own. I myself own five houses. I wish, not really, it's just an example. Now the second category of word linking that is very common is consonant to vowel linking. That is, the ending consonant of one word connects to a vowel beginning the next word. Here are some examples of that. Just in time. Notice how just in sounds exactly like the name Justin. The T at the end of just sounds like it begins the word in. Justin. Now back to the sentence, what time is it? Time is it blends smoothly together 
with the M at the end of time connecting nicely to the I sound in is, and also the final Z sound on is blends into the I sound in it. Time is it. Time is it. Notice there is no break between the four words in the sentence. What time is it? What time is it? It all flows together as if it were one word. And finally, there is a third category of sounds that connect. An ending vowel connects to a beginning vowel, as in, did you eat my orange? There are two examples of this type of linking in that sentence. You eat, you eat, and my orange, my orange. Make sure to fully pronounce both the ending and beginning vowels in these blends. This type of linking occurs much less frequently than the previous two categories, since those vowel-to-vowel -vowel sound combinations don't happen as often in English. Now there you have it. Mastering connected speech will go a long way to making your English sound more fluent. Thanks for watching, and here are a couple more videos that you might find helpful.